Hello and welcome to Blast One International instructional video in relation to repairing an airless pump leg. How do I know when I need to replace the packers in a pump? The packings are top and bottom. To understand the need to replace the packings, primarily you'll have material or paint escaping from this gland nut from the top of the pump. The gland nut itself is uh, creates pressure on the packers. What happens ultimately is the packers will wear from um, not only the piston travelling through the packings but also it's indicative to the type of product you're using. Some products are more aggressive on the packings and the pump as opposed to uh, your lighter high, uh, lower volume solids products. So say for example a product with uh, silicate in it. So some products that you put through this pump are quite harsh or prema cause premature wear on the packings. Products with calcium silicate, products with micaceous iron oxide, aluminium oxides, they all have a significant wear factor in relation to the longevity of the packings themselves. The other indicator is of course, not only did I mention paint escaping from this gland nut, but also too you'll see a significant drop in pressure. So how can I ascertain what the drop of pressure is? Well. Predominantly what you'll do is, when you're spraying, you'll see the drop in pressure because the atomization from the tip to the surface of the material itself becomes diminished in the sense that the dry spray it tends to follow the spray tip pattern. Also too, you'll have a, an undulating spray tip pattern. So when I say undulating, it, it'll come in and go out, come in and go out. That's indicative to ball wear as well, which is top and bottom, your primary ball, your secondary ball. So all of these factors are relative to wear within a, a pump itself. Primarily though, uh, most of you would have experienced paint coming from the top of this gland nut. So that being the case, you can, with no pressure on the pump, increase some torque with the C-section spanner on this gland nut to try and torque it down a bit more to create a bit of squash on the packings, to reduce the bypass of product out the top of the gland nut. If you're unsuccessful in that and you've lost pressure, you can see that you have poor atomization. Ultimately, you need to replace the packings within the pump. 